Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. We are in downtown Manhattan and lower Manhattan, and we're going to explore the city on Cinco de Mayo 2023. Welcome. And we're starting our walk today on uh, broad, uh, at Broadway and Stone Street. Stone Street is uh, very short, only like one block, but it has uh, some few buildings that are dated to 17th century and uh, right behind us here is the museum of the american indian hi arjan and montsair what's up there's several mexican restaurants one of them on this street one of them is uh chipotle which is uh, you know a chain a franchise whatever you call it but very popular some say it's a fake mexican some say it's okay mexican but it's Mexican. There's also more uh, prominent restaurant there, up over there. We'll take a look at it. In the meantime, look at those, uh, that brick building, very old building, it looks like. We're gonna step across and also this one right here. Welcome everyone. Don't forget your likes, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe. We're in downtown Manhattan, around not too far from Wall Street. So we are going to explore the old city a little bit, so to speak. This is, uh, before we get there, let's take a look at this one across the street. Very nice too. Imagine this building in uh, 17th century, that was top of the line. Now it's London and Martin and Company that's a store and probably someone lives still up there some. I'm pretty sure. Mulder, Jimmy, Dance Killer. Hey, Alan, good to see you. It's finally a nice day here in Manhattan. Larry and Neth loves. Hello, New York. Hey, Larry and Neth. Where are you from, Larry and Neth? Thank you for stopping by. The Fidei Hotel, and uh, this is another building that is dated to 17th century, right here. This street considered to be the oldest street in Manhattan, probably because of these two buildings. That one that we just looked at, and this one right here. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Alan. This one is uh, the restaurant. They say there will be uh, a bigger happening later today on Stone Street and in the center of the soul will be this restaurant that is called uh, not this one, not not Grumpy this one what's the name of it? I forgot really for so. Do, 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 do. Toro Loco it's Toro Loco this one is a pretty famous Mexican restaurant here in Lower Manhattan Toro Loco. You don't want to meet Toro Loco in real life. You don't want to meet any locos in real life. Jimmy Danskill in Montreal, Canada, Haiti. Yo, multicultural, multinational, international. Al, my name is Al, A-L. Pearl Short, hey, happy Cinco. That's this the whole Stone Street right here. From uh, this corner to where we came from. Let's take a look at it. With the Museum of American Indian, of the American Indian, right in front of us. It's a beautiful building too. It was just said a very small portion of it. This is Lower Manhattan. Lower Manhattan, uh, Staten Island Ferry is right over there, like two minute walk from here. And a uh, lot of very old historical buildings here, like this one in front of us is uh, Francis Tavern. Uh, once we explored Francis Tavern, uh, went inside, streamed. Uh, you can probably even find a stream if you want to. You just need to put Francis Tavern 
uh, searching through our content on our channel and you will be able to see it. Hi RJ, hi Sally, good to see everyone. We're going to step a little closer to Francis Tavern. That is a very historical place and we'll find out why in a few seconds. A lot of tourists which here in this area. It's considered to be the national treasure, has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places. And this is why. After the American Revolutionary War, on December 1783, General George Washington bade an emotional farewell to his officers at a banquet held in the long room here on the second floor. And Samuel Francis, or Francis, a West Indian innkeeper was the proprietor. He later became Washington's chief steward. See? Also American Patriot. So this is also commemorated right here, which is the same exact content, but this but this one is uh, much older. This big one was installed here in 1907. Welcome everyone and happy Cinco de Mayo. This is Francis Tavern. And they also have a restaurant here. Museum open. Museum and restaurant. Pearl Short, interesting. By the way, they have a restaurant that has nothing to do with the museum, but very uh, yes and no, because it's in the same building, so it's, you know, decorated proper, appropriately. But if you want to have a, a meal here, let's see, the lunch, main course, main course, average main course price is 24 to 30, dinners 40 to 50, Look, these are older, I guess this this kind of like uh, sound like an older type of dishes, like more uh, historical, so to speak. And they have branches too. So, you know, if you're here, if you're traveling, if you're exploring, that's not so bad. That's restaurant. The Porter House at Francis Tavern. That's another one because history is also oftentimes connected to business, and you know, why not capitalize of, uh, on uh, the whole experience? These are also very old buildings, definitely, maybe beginning of 19th century, if not older. And this is the new, brand new trend that is uh, taken over everywhere, I guess. Not just here. If you know what I mean. Places like this open everywhere and uh, it's no longer a problem to... Explore something beyond your imagination if you want to but you know I'm just kidding this little space has an outdoor space too who wants to sit on this pillow like that is uh, here for everyone to sit on but nevertheless that's a coffee shop <laughs> so I'm gonna sell coffee We are in downtown Manhattan, lower Manhattan. This is steps away from uh, Wall Street and uh, Staten Island Ferry. This is Francis Tavern Block Historic District. I mean, no one in New York would uh, use this terminology, but it's on here.
Francis Tavern Block Historic District. It is a historic district though. And technically it is Francis Tavern Block, but the tavern is right over there on the other side. That's a newer building, the Broad Financial Center, Broad Street, that's why it's called Broad Financial Center. Welcome everyone, don't forget your likes, don't forget to share and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Thank you. And of course, super chats, super stickers, Venmos and Cash Apps, no, not Cash Apps, Venmos and ko -Fi's. The links are in the description and sometimes in the chat. Thank you for supporting us. Happy Cinco de Mayo. No architecture and old architecture. This all, except for a few historic landmarks, will eventually turn into higher buildings, towers, made of a lot of glass, you know, on the outside. Battery Park, that's just called Battery right now. It's over there where the trees are. And Battery Park City, the area of Manhattan is down there that way. We are on Water Street, but we're not going to walk along Water Street, but we'll zigzag in uh, downtown here in Lower Manhattan to enjoy the older streets of New York City a little bit. Contes Slip. Some names here are historical, if not all. They have something to do with history and uh, the trade that was happening here. Look at that. This is uh, another one. Every time you walk in an area you think you know more or less, you see new Establishments like that opening, look at that. It's another one, steps away from the first one. This one's big. It's almost like they're replacing deli stores or small grocery stores, or, or they are sometimes looking like both. And they're very light, you know, lit and shiny and uh, appealing to a lot of people, including, of course, the younger generation. So, I don't know where we're going but that's a totally different conversation look at this one a lot of places to eat burgers fish and chip golden chopsticks Chinese Justinos Pizzeria, Empanada Shop, and Garden City Deli. Look at that. How many different options on one very short block. This is Pearl Street. This building is pending its renovation. Very old and uh, still people live in it. You can tell the flowers there. Nothing here that's in the process of free building to something newer. <laughs> Welcome everyone to our walk. We're streaming live on Cinco de Mayo. This is New York City, Lower Manhattan, downtown. Havana Social, one of the Havana Social. Oh, this is real cool. This is real festival. Is it the Stone Street too? Because if this is Stone Street, the other side of Stone Street. The first portion was nothing this one is real deal look at that this is what i'm talking about happy cinco de mayo i smell beer tequila food omg look at that 
Pearl, mm, hungry. Havana Social. Yeah, celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Of course. Uh, this is awesome. For sure, for sure. Mixed drinks twelve dollars, wine ten, champagne ten, champagne ten, tequila five, tequila gummy, bear shots five, or oh, beer shots. What am, oh, am I drunk? I don't think so. Oh boy, look at that! This is what I was looking for. This is real Cinco de Mayo celebration. Mad dog and beans, Mexican cantina. Wow, this is really a transformation. It is Stone Street. So, for those of you who's looking for Stone Street Mexican Festival on Cinco de Mayo, you go to Stone Street, the portion of which is nothing, and then you zigzag, because that street apparently is not a straight line. It has an obstacle in the form of other streets. We're going to go back and forth. We just want to see what's going on here. A piñata or something. And uh, the other portion of uh, Stone Street is where the whole thing is happening, actually. Tequila shots. Okay, let's take a look. Hey, John. Hi, everyone. This is uh, Stone Street Mexican Festival. Uh, maybe they will even have uh, more music here later today but even now and it's kind of early 2 10 p.m. How's everybody doing? Happy Cinco de Mayo. Now we can say Happy Cinco de Mayo. Heathcliff, it's early too, so many people, yes. And you know what? I would not say uh, these are all tourists. Some, yes. But now, like this table, they are definitely, definitely New Yorkers. Stone Street Tavern. This almost whole block is... Uh, very old and this block is what's called New York's oldest street <laughs> called drone magic experience magic experience that's a bar and restaurant everything is open and everything is packed if you look up for a moment and you look at the building these are the buildings going back to 17th centuries as well. 17th century. Um, this is officially New York's oldest street as they preserve the 17th century buildings here. But look, what a, what a mix, a combination of uh, 17th century architecture and 21st century Cinco de Mayo celebration and restaurants. And um, they're not even fully operational yet. This place right here outside will also be serving meals, the uh, tables. We will go back and forth a little so we can uh, take a look at the street from different angles. That's so cool, yes. Ambrose, good afternoon. Usually not this busy on a normal day. Now, this what uh, was advertised, and I think it's annual event too. So you can only imagine what's going to be going on here toward the evening hours when people get back from work. So that's what they call Stone Street Cinco de Mayo Festival. I think, if I'm saying this properly. Jesse 13. Hello. 
We tend not to self-promote. This is chat rules, but we thank you so much for saying hello. Diane, hi from UK. Pearl Short, interesting. Yep, this is uh, quiet. I'm sure there will be music. There will probably be mariachis and maybe, uh, you know, DJs later for sure because this is just the beginning. I think they started around 12 or 1 o'clock. Oh, there's some construction going on up here, but who cares? Looks like uh, indoors bars are full, uh, maybe almost full as far as indoor space, but it's nice, nice weather to be outdoors. So for a lot of people walking by back and forth, but it's not too bad. Pretty nice. Van Borat would say very nice. A lot of ice. Oh, they have uh, Mad Dog. This one is like in the center of this all. Mad Dog and Beans Mexican Cantina. And Stone Street Tavern. At this point, price is not an issue. At this point, people come here to have a good time and uh, they are having a good time. Look, sangria and margarita out of the barrel like that. Three Amigos special, $15. Slice of pizza, Corona, and tequila shot, $15. Drought beer eight dollars, cocktails, Colombiana fourteen, red sangria fourteen, classic margarita fifteen, and Aldo Snow fifteen. We'll uh, do back and forth one more time because it's so cool in case if we miss something. This is Bodega Gran Via. Bodega Gran Via, this is how it sells. I'm not making this up. Jay Chulo, hey, Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Feliz Cinco de Mayo, everyone. If you're watching us, no matter where you're watching us, happy Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. To be honest, a lot of people think that this is Mexican Independence Day. No, it's not. Uh, it is a fairly new holiday that was uh, originated in the United States and is uh, commemorating the battle, um, the, the victory over the French troops of Napoleon III that changed the history of uh, the Americas. And that was a prominent uh, event in the history of Mexico, of course, as well. Uh, however, this is not an Independence Day. I think Independence Day is in September, if I'm not mistaken. But it is very popular, and, uh, you know, why not use this opp opportunity to have a good time and celebrate? Did you see those tacos? Oh, yum yum! 
Okie doke, so this is Stone's Feet Mexican Festival, Cinco de Mayo Festival. Ambrose was only celebrated in Texas and in Pueblo, Mexico when then Coron, I guess. Oh, that's right, thank you, Pueblo, because there was a battle uh, of Puebla, so Pueblo, Mexico. So, so technically, they celebrated that in Mexico, but only in Pueblo. And then it caught on, and uh, there you go. Thank you, Ambrose. As always, DLS, Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Rafael Biar, Feliz Cinco de Mayo from Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, Republica Dominicana, welcome. We will continue exploring downtown area because I think if I walk there one more time back and forth, they will start looking at me funny. So we will continue exploring around the block. Oh, porta potties, that is good for those who are looking for them, except for they don't know where they are. They might be around the block and. Unless you know for sure, you don't know. This bar and restaurant is packed. Mad Dog and Beans. Oh, no matter why. I mean, no wonder why. That's the same establishment. It's just they just have a uh, bouncers. What? Oh, I was I was about to go through, but they will give me a hard time if I if I go. Bouncers on both ends, yes, that's that's a big place. Hard to lean W. Okay. So we're walking parallel to Stone Street, but uh, we're going to zigzag more. This is Pearl. Pearl Street. Looks like no toilet paper. I uh, don't think they very uh, advanced inside, but you know, you they will think about it later. The first, the first, they need to feel better, and then they will think about it later. We are in uh, Lower Manhattan, and we will continue uh, browsing. So we're about to cross Stone Street. This is where we walk back and forth. HD, hello from Amazon, Brazil. Bon dia. By the way, uh, 17th Street, architect 17th century architecture, and uh, uh, Cobblestone Street as well. Apparently they will be celebrating till May 7th, that makes sense. Yeah, it's gonna, it, it has a great potential. I'm sure they're gonna have live music in the evening too. That is going to be a perfect environment for eating and drinking. We kind of walking towards Wall Street right now. This is South William Street. That's what used to be Del Monico's a restaurant that is currently, I guess, a vacant space. Beautiful building too. Christian, Christian Hansen. Long no see, happy Cinco de Mayo if you understand Spanish. If you don't eat a taco today, it's the same. Darlene W, today is my parents' 61st wedding anniversary too. Wow.
Thank you for sharing. The narrow streets of Lower Manhattan. This is Beaver Street. Very historical name. Beavers used to be a very important. Uh, I don't want to say product, but you know the fur what used to be used in the trade, and that goes all the way back to 1600s, 1700s. Daisy, hi El Delilah and everyone. Hi Daisy. Hanover Street is there in front of us. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Commodity, yeah, commodity, that's right, that's right, that's the word I was looking for, thank you. Hanover and Beaver. and happy anniversary to Darlene's parents. If the May is when the Mexicans defeated the French in Puebla in the 1860s. So this is Hanover Street, then exchange place. Regular foods, what a beautiful day. That's exchange place. How narrow the streets are. Hey, Noble Sweetness, good evening, good to see you. And we approach on Wall Street. We are on Wall Street. A lot of tourists on Wall Street. A lot of things to take a picture of on Wall Street. The most famous uh, areas in downtown is Wall Street and World Trade Center, I think. As far as tourist destinations, this is Wall Street going south toward the water and uh, north. We browse around Wall Street uh, quite a few times. We will walk a few blocks and then we'll uh, make another turn. Look at that. Gentlemen, in uh, basically is looking like uh, he came out of uh, the history books. This is this Greek Isles uh, Spring Luncheon today, Friday. Thank you. That's Cipriani. Oh, this is Cipriani, world famous restaurant. They have several locations. One of them is on Wall Street. I 
I guess they're done with the launcher. And, uh, but we're done with Cipriani, so we'll continue to look at these vehicles that are expecting passengers. So it's high profile event, too. This is Wall Street. Yes, that was not the usual outfit these days, but very cool. This is Williams Street. The Wall Street Station on the two and three lines. William Street. A lot of security, so you can drive through here if you want to. We'll take a quick look at the New York Stock Exchange. By the way, this is Tiffany and Company, but not the one on Fifth Avenue. This one is on Wall Street. We'll take a look. Let's take a look at the whole building. From top to bottom. Kimberlite's jewelry on Tiffany. We're in Wall Street and uh, around the corner is uh, New York Stock Exchange and right there is uh, Jammer Jerk as Jamaican, I think. A popular street food that is uh, Serving a lot of people. And this is Federal Hall, where George Washington was sworn as the first president of the United States on this site. And this is NYSE, New York Stock Exchange. That's the Zomar. Pulo Armando Muniz Canton. Hey, good, good. Good to see you. It's like I made it. Sorry. All right, let's center it a little bit. Better. New York Stock Exchange in on Wall Street and Broad Street. Then, of course, a little Brave Girls, which is a sculpture or statue monument. Now, too small for monument, but.
Fish and juice ninja maker style has to be good and spicy too. You can you can uh, have a test to see if uh, you are a New Yorker or not. New Yorkers would not most definitely take a picture right like this, but all the tourists will. It's New York Stock Exchange. Birmingham, good afternoon, sir. Good evening, sir. New York Stock Exchange closing bell today is naturally Corona and Modelo. Cinco de Mayo. Carlina, I wouldn't do that. I don't want to stand out as a tourist. Uh, everyone here is a tourist. Everyone now I look like a tourist with a gimbal and backpack. Regular food, I've never been where you are filming. Looks like a cool place. Yeah, it's a very touristic place too. And uh, also uh, a life hack. If you ever want to use the bathroom around here, there's nothing much real close here, but that TJ Maxx right there has it on the ground floor in the basement. So if you really have to and it's open, that's that place will save you. Broadway is the next block up, but we are on Wall Street and we're not done zigzagging yet. So we'll continue zigzagging. Uh, when Jewish holidays are coming up, the happy Jewish holidays, we see Hasidic uh, Jews uh, standing around the city or on buses and uh, they're promoting their culture, the holiday, and if you're a Jewish, they can give you a blessing. And you can say a prayer, they will help you to do it properly. Christian, I will take a picture with my head peeking out from under her legs to be naughty. Well, that's very creative too, and never saw that yet happening. So if you ever take a picture, you can share it with us, email it to us, we'll um, post it. Just saying. This is Wall Street Financial District in case if we don't know where we are. Going one block backwards. So this is Tiffany's, Tiffany and Company. Muchos. Different is delicious. Uh, empanadas, sort of, kind of. Yeah, all empanadas, five dollars. Three for thirteen fifty. Wow, what a discount! Six for twenty-five and twelve for forty-eight. They're rather small, but if you're craving empanadas, and plus life is expensive these days. Pizzeria, La Pizza Napoletana, and the bakery. Look at these fortifications here. It's funny, and that's not funny if you think about it. Wall Street used to be a fortification wall, uh, or just a wall separating uh, the settlers from the American Indians, because. Both sides were, you know, kind of like 
not too friendly, unfortunately. And we can understand the American Indians who were basically, you know, their land was basically taken from them. And anyways, long story short. So there was a wall. That's why it's a wall street. There was a wall separating settlers from the Indians. And then now we see the fortifications here on Wall Street again, separating good people from bad people when needed. How the history repeats itself, sometimes, always, maybe. This is Williams Street. So we are making a turn from Wall Street into Williams. This is their Jamrock Jerk. This is their vehicle. I guess they keep stuff here and when they get here, they get in the park. Lucky them, they, they have a parking very close by. Krishna will do or have to ask for assistance from passerby. That is when you have to be very careful. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you will choose someone who's also a tourist. So they won't run away with your phone or camera. Also, never, never lend your phone to anyone, no matter how tragic they might sound because you know it's it it happens unless of course you're 100 million percent sure that this is a, you know a person you can trust William Street and Pine Street this is our lady of uh, the rectory church this is the victory that overcomes the world our faith world comma our faith says up there above the entrance welcome everyone 150 people watching us and there will be more if all of you will give us a like so those who did thank you those who didn't click the like button hit the like button please and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support us thank you so much of course for your amazing donations and contributions this is lower manhattan this space is called fosun plaza fosun Christian history repeats itself is the lesson today given to you by the wise ale. Uh, I guess we all know, but you know, funny thing about it, everybody knows it and no one really pays attention to it. Human nature. Thank you, Christian. Cedar, sweet or setter, cedar, setter, potato, potato. It's a nice space. Not so much traffic, but you still have to be careful. Nice, cozy space with a lot of uh, seating, including tables too. So, if you have food and you know the area, you can come here and have a meal on a good day. Uh, it's also Greek bakery or bakery, I don't know. Perhaps this is how bakery sounds in Greek. I doubt it very, very much though. Definitely not. Greek is a language totally different from Latin. Not totally, but majorly. I think Oh, I'm just trying to sound smart above. Christian, very tall, looks like a strong, sturdy structure made of brick. Liberty Street. That Stone Street Festival is real something nice. 
I like how they uh, put the tables in the middle of the street and just let people enjoy themselves. So this is Liberty Street. Going north and there's no traffic light, so be careful and going south. Huge installation here. And another old beautiful building. Look. Remember during the pandemic this whole area, just like every everywhere else, this whole area was a ghost town. If you could walk the distance we walked so far, especially at the beginning of shutdown, we saw only a few people here and there. That was, that was it. Usually locals walking the dogs. Is the clock correct? Twelve forty-four, two forty-five. Yes, the clock is correct. Beautiful clock. Here, subway underneath. The Howell Blue Ribbon Sushi Bar and Grill, and the Howell must be uh, a residential. If it doesn't look like it's a hotel, it must be a residential building, too. Oh, well, look at that little detail, all the way up, very high up, but looks like a little fortress shape. The towers on top. Aline W, I remember looking at live cameras at Times Square during the pandemic, it was yearly empty, yes, it was. It was? few characters here and there but that's it uh, area around 34th street Macy's Herald Square a ghost town with weirdos well for, to, to, to the degree it's still like that after everything was back to normal but not as bad Christian, the Catholic Church, some are friendlier than others. Dave, stand, stand for them. Hello, Dave, Netherlands. Just guessing. Good, good evening. Thank you so much for saying hi. Hey John, touring different places. How's it going? Happy Cinco de Mayo. This is Platt Street, P L A T T. We just zigzagging, so we're browsing here and there to give you as much of a downtown lower Manhattan area experience. <laughs> 100 William Street, space open to public. There's no sitting area here, but it's kind of cool. Starbucks is there though. And. Uh, I was gonna say what kind of food is here? American beauty salon. Yeah, it's basically a beauty salon. Brigitte's on. 
Ray Gibson. Hey, Ray. And why? Hey. We only walk in 55 minutes, but yeah, we've kind of browsed and we're not done yet. Not even close, I hope. <clears throat> now, if we look up, we see the Freedom Tower of the World Trade Center. So we know where we are. See how close everything here in downtown? Oh, we knew where we are, but just in case if you get lost, you can always figure it out. It's always good to sanitize a city bike or anything that you're going to use that's been used by a million people before. It has nothing to do with being a germaphobe. This is William Street that we're crossing. William Street. The guy's wearing a mask in a car, but the mask doesn't cover his nose. And he's driving like that. Weird. Uh, we're not gonna let this one go. That's it. Welcome to Real Deals. Real Deals? Oh, it looks like another discounted store here. We will not walk straight up there to Oculus World Trade Center. Not yet. See the Oculus right there and the World Trade Center. We will continue on Williams Street. Century 21 opens on May 16th, I think. Soon. Speaking of downtown, wow, what kind of construction is this? Booth handle forward to close. Compost, oh, it's compost. I thought, oh, wow, that's that's a new tech. Christian, downtown is definitely a ghost town after 9-11 and covered in, uh, in dust where, in, where before you were packed in like a sardine and if a street festival was going on yep that is yeah that is what was going on there Dave, love it. Thank you. Interesting. These are real windows, and these are probably what used to be, but now nothing is there, just empty spaces. We're approaching Fulton Street. Ambrose pull handle, thought it was a slot machine. Funny, yes, it actually the handle actually looks like one of those. Kind of, sort of, maybe. William Street and Fulton Street. We walk in parallel to Broadway. Broadway is to our left, right over there, somewhere. I think, I didn't lose the sense of direction, and this is World Trade Center. We will continue, for now, on Wellham Street. That was the dude who didn't let me walk. And he knows it's me I have to cross, and he looks at me with a 
beautiful smile and makes a turn. But what a sweetheart. Man, what a lovely awnings. No other any special events for Cinco de Mayo. Uh, a lot of them are in restaurants and clubs, but we walk through Stone Street uh, Cinco de Mayo festival, which is not too loud yet, but a lot of people eating and drinking. And we'll probably get more intense in a good way toward the evening hours. But other than that, everything else is there's no. Uh, nothing very public going on outside of the clubs and restaurants and you know places to eat really i think ambrose at least he didn't wave hi oh yeah if he did i would do so too i'd say hey thank you so much you're awesome thank you for your safe driving um habits We're on William Street and we're crossing Beekman, Beekman Street. Think about it, what a name, Beekman. I spelled all the difference out, B-E-E-K. This building here that doesn't look like anything else, it says the Wall Street Synagogue. Very tiny, I don't know if it's still in operation or not. Maybe not, maybe yes, probably yes, because it has the schedule. Darlene Al, remember that brownstone for sale on 5th Street and Park Slope? They finally are showing a price. It's only, only 3.4 million. Wow. Thank you for checking this out. I guess we really like that one. When the price goes down a little bit, just a little bit, you might as well buy one. I'm just kidding. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for, for the info. This is uh, Engine 6 Fire Department. Also a very old building. Whoops. Perhaps... I don't know of this. Wall Street Synagogue is, is still functioning or not, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty small. Doesn't look like a classic synagogue at this point, but classic ones, I mean, those huge ones on 5th Avenue, on 3rd Avenue in Lexington, you know, other places, those are, like, huge. So let's go back to William and make a right. If I don't think we can because that's a parking, or maybe not, maybe yes, we'll see. Are we exploring? Yes, we can, this is Pace University. New York Presbyterian Hospital, Lower Manhattan. Built in 1953. Four bedrooms and two and a half baths.
Maybe a Dutch name, Beckman. Beckman. Most likely a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Dutch history here, and they preserve the names and uh, the historical places. Um, so that is probably 99.9% .9 the case. Public space still. Benches. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for enjoying our work from the comfort of your own home or work or job. Don't forget to give us a like if you forgot. If you did give us a like, thank you. And of course, last but not least, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. With all notifications. Thank you to all our members, supporters, and subscribers. Vision if you sell with real estate, new contractors, or where? Handy, you probably could flip a brownstone back and say Bushwick or Bedstar, Brooklyn for 300k, cause they are stone sturdy structures. Yeah, outside is not a problem. It's indoors, pipe pipes and you know electrics and all that and refurbishing and remodeling. But yeah, good point. So we're still in Lower Manhattan, in downtown Manhattan. Ivan, Ivan. Oh, well, unfortunately, life doesn't work like that. Only in fairy tales. Oh, look at that astronaut right there. Happy Halloween. Well, only in New York, they, like they say sometimes. You have to walk with the camera running, otherwise no one will believe you. This is a city hall, by the way, and that's Pace University. So, a few days ago, we were walking around here. Oh, that's an astronaut right there, still. Is he going to walk around Manhattan Bridge like that, maybe? Maybe, who knows. Or maybe he has his uh, time machine park somewhere in the bushes right there, who knows. Christian everywhere being gentrified. These would be bad neighborhoods back when. Back then, yes. Now tourists, New Yorkers. So this is City Hall and City Hall Park.
Someone once asked me, uh, how do they pay taxes if they sell stuff like this on the street? I don't know. It's probably not happening or I don't know. How can you even uh, know how much money they make or if they even report what they're doing? Who knows? A lot of people hassle and have a side hassle or a side, side job or something that, you know, just a little bit of an extra income. That is Brooklyn Bridge in the background there and uh, if you want to walk over Brooklyn Bridge you can uh, start your walk right a few steps away from here and that's municipal building municipal building New York City municipal building with a lot of New York City government institutions located offices located there Also, if someone is spamming or talking out of the lines, if something is being discussed that is really not the subject that we discuss in our chat, then, you know, we will, might not see that person in chat again. Ray, I love that building. Marianne. Hey, Marianne. City Hall is uh, official office of uh, the city of New uh, Mayor of the city of New York, which is right there. That's the entrance to the walkway over Brooklyn Bridge. So I just cross the street and there you go, right there. Brooklyn Bridge City Hall Station, 456JZ line, five lines. Naldo, hey. Happy Cinco de Mayo, Feliz Cinco de Mayo, everyone. This is May 5th, 2023. City Hall Park is. We walked through here uh, a few days ago. This is Horace Greeley, founder of the New York Tribune. New York Tribune. Also, there is a Greeley Square, which is uh, you know a little bit south of uh, Herald Square. A few street blocks. Free Bible courses. J W. Jehovah Witnesses. Uh, it's always interesting to see how they start talking to people who approach them. Um, I don't know. They, I don't want to say they in what. Like I don't know what they function. Probably talk about religion, but also they, of course, want people to know more about Jehovah Witnesses. But not too many people stop by these days. It's a beautiful building. There used to be a surrogate's court. Surrogate's court. Um, looks like we're in Paris somewhere.
No, it didn't say the year on that one. We... Thank you for watching everyone, 170 people plus. This is Chambers Street, we're crossing. And this is Century Street. Municipal building, let's zoom out. There you go. Beautiful building indeed. And uh, to the point, see it says New Amsterdam, and then it's a year in Roman numerals right there. Then uh, Manhattan, New York. So, in case if someone doesn't know yet, New York used to be called New Amsterdam. In Dutch, of course, when the first settlers came to this area, they were the Dutch, majorly. Tourists, many sightseeing companies in New York. This one is New York sightseeing. Hey, Ray Gibson. Hey. 65 and part of cloud it looks I don't even know the temperature now but it, it's not hot it's cloudy it's windy Reed Street you know Dwayne Reed so this is Reed Street that was a part of the name for Dwayne Reed uh, African burial ground and the Commons historic district if we would walk up that way but for now we're going to walk around here these are courts United States courthouse is this one Ray I would love to go on that bus Several court buildings right here. And that's a beautiful church right there. Let's go take a look. Now look at this map. 1900 to 2000, Foley Square, a history of Foley Square. So that municipal building that we just looked at, 1914. Wow, that was revolutionary for that time. Five borders were consolidated in 1898. Civic Center was established using city beautiful, classically inspired architecture. Originated here, the first New York City subways began operating in 1908. The Civic Center continues to develop with new buildings in the 1990s. Now this court that was standing near, 1936. The monument that we will look at soon 1998 Reconstruction of Foley Square 1993 1999 
Newcomers, including many Asian and South Asians, pass through Foley Square Immigration Office. Cut and cover construction of the IRT subway in 1901. A few feet below the ground on which you stand is an astonishing array of modern utilities servicing the city while engineering and technology while engineering and technology seek to increase comfort and convenience the historic side of the collect ponds continues to change challenge construction today wow this all in this circle right here let's explore a little bit see another historic area area that's a New York City building of course two offices this one is the Catholic Church of St. Andrew. Ray, I love that. It reminds me of a type of sundial, yep. One of the scorches where Donald Trump had to appear like a few weeks ago was a big deal on Center Street, which is here on this, in this area. Probably, I don't even know to be honest, one of these two buildings, probably this one here. This is Reed Street, Lafayette Street, and Center Street. San Andreas Plaza. Stylish Bunny, Happy Cinco de Mayo! So that's United States Courthouse. Duane Street and Sanders Street. Oh, someone's marriage right there. So I was getting married on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> this is Chamber Street Station, subway. It's another court building. Supreme Court. I guess State Supreme Court. 60 Center Street. And that's Monument. Oh wait, before we look, there's something else here, interesting. It's made out of wood, it has a very, very old tree. It's looking for some sort of a sign, but nothing in view. Hey, Stylish Bonnie. Hey, Norman. Yeah, it feels like wood, but very, very 
Interesting. A little signage wouldn't hurt. Perhaps two trees that grew together. It's the circles here and there. Oh, that's a puzzle. Oh, that's a puzzle. Thomas Payne Park. P A I N E. Foley Square. This monument is called Triumph, Triumph of the Human Spirit. Someone is puffing there, and we don't want to disturb the peace. This is Thargood Marshall, United States Courthouse. That's the Supreme Court, state of New York. The true administration of justice is the firmest pillar of good government. That's what it says up there. Downtown Manhattan. Welcome everyone, we are streaming live, walking NYC. If you forgot to give us a like, time to click the like button and also, also, subscribe if you're not subscribed. In front of us, the Louis J. Lefkowitz State Office Building. It's like a lot of uh, people who get married take pictures around here. Ah, because it's court, because yeah, that's what it is. They probably, they come here dressed up like that to register their marriage and make it all legal. I'm a little slow on that, but we figured it out. Oh, wow, wow, look at that. Remember this interesting structure we just looked at? This is the whole uh, park of them. Um, wow, look here and there. Lot. More than a dozen, maybe fifteen. So very impressive and different. And that's a federal building here as well. This is Abraham, uh, Abraham de Paster. 
1685 Alderman 1691 95 Mayor 1701 Comptroller and 1708 Receiver General of the Port of New York 1698 Member of Earl de la Mont Council This is uh, this has to be renovated it, it, all they need is a little bit of a you know a gold paint over these letters because this is very historical How many are there? Let's count. Interesting. Good question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or maybe a dozen. Maybe a dozen plus one that we saw before. Those are harmless, but you have to look out for the gators and the lakes. Out of Florida. Marianne, I have watched way too many Nicolas Cage movies. Looks like they carved. Yes, they carved. They are uh, very old trees, but they definitely carved. Look at that. This one is different from the others. That one was. Stylish Bunny, those round three are 13 moons by Jamie Miranda Bambare. Thank you so much, Stylish Bunny. Yes, we counted 12 plus one in front of them all. 13 moons. Thank you. We've been 75 plus people watching us. Welcome, welcome. We are strolling New York City on Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, 3.27 p.m. in New York City. State office building, state of New York, right here. So courts and state and city offices. This is Center Street and Worth Street. Hannah Town is over there. And uh, a lot of people getting married. This is, ah, oh, this is office of, a, of the city clerk. That's why. Someone wasn't in good mood when they busted this one. So that's what's going on around here. That's the office of the city clerk, city of New York. All right, good luck to you, good luck to you.
Good luck to them. That infinite. Hey. Ariane, thank you for the information. How's everybody doing? What's for uh now that's between lunch and dinner. What's for dinner? Or late lunch. We're browsing randomly around here. I don't think we explored around here much before. So that's nice. Weather is good. Rockslow, looking from Trindad and Tobago. Tobago, always enjoy your vlog with the scenery. Thank you so much for coming back and saying hi. Noble Sweetness, 5 5, five, five wedding day. That's right, 5 5. Hmm. There's more happy faces here. Oh, very romantic. Confetti on the ground. This is Baxter Street. How's everybody doing? Almost 200 people are working with us from the comfort of your old homes your own homes, jobs, works, workplaces, anywhere and ever. Just make sure that you don't get in trouble at work too much. I guess that other door, they're walking out and everyone else is cheering them. They just did it. Now it's official. A lot of people getting married. Think about it. Daniel Patrick Moynihan, United States Courthouse. It's at Moynihan Station, which is adjacent to Penn Station. And why? Oh, nice. This is Mulberry Street. These are very familiar streets, but we didn't really explore it right here at the outskirts or the beginning of those streets. So this is all Columbus Park right here, which is uh, the area is called Columbus Park, but it is very close to Chinatown. Happiness to all happy couples, Valerie. Yes, and best of luck. War Street and Mulberry, Columbus Park. It is basically Chinatown. So, of course, we're going to browse a little bit around here. Happy Cinco de Mayo. That's a great, great couple. New York is awesome when it comes to mixing the cultures and, uh, you know, just stuff like that. This is great. They're not married yet, probably, but hey, maybe soon, maybe soon. Yes, you can notice the signage is in Chinese. So 
but this is Chinatown. This is everything in Chinese. LLC could be a Lima company, but then could be a, a temple, probably a temple of sorts, yeah. Or maybe, you know, this is, this is a... You know, probably has something to do with cemeteries, I guess. Alibaba Organic Works. Alibaba is out of business. Interesting repetitive graffiti, if you think about it. Flat. Every time I hear Chinatown, I want to say Chinese food. This is Park Row and Worth Street. Even street signs are doubled in Chinese here. Interesting. Mott Street is to our left around the corner. How we walk from uh, Wall Street area to, to Chinatown real quick? If you think about it, I mean, not quick, hour and 40 minutes, but here we are in Chinatown on Cinco de Mayo. So it's Friday, by the way. Happy Friday, yeah. TGIF. And we are officially in Chinatown. So see where we are? We just approached it and from a totally different area, but Wahab and uh, This is Mott Street, where famous restaurants are, not just on Mott Street, but everywhere here, places to eat. Three thirty-seven in New York City. Hop Key and Wahop. Two restaurants in the same block, very famous. Christian and Chinese takeout is common in New York City. Well, traditionally, like Mexican food is common in Texas. Very true. King Duck House. Panama. This is where George Clooney and Brad Pitt were filming here. Parts of their movie where Brad Pitt was running from that door all the way up to here. And we captured that. That was awesome. If uh, you want to look it up, just search for Brad Pitt or Pitt Clooney and you will see the videos on our channel. Stylish, popular Chinese food, uh, Americanized Chinese food that doesn't exist in China. Yes, we're aware of that. However, it tastes so good, who cares? Uh, also, I'm not sure if an uh, average person would be familiar with the, the real Chinese food or like real Chinese food, but essentially it should not be that bad. Um, I would love it for sure, I know it for a fact. 
佢係都要翻出嚟嘅。I love that outdoor sitting in the lanterns, yes. Lanterns are awesome, especially when it gets darker, but even now. Now we're zigzagging around Chinatown. I think I might end up getting something here too. But later, maybe. Let's enjoy it on the empty stomach. Dog stack, welcome. Ray, my dad, when he was in university, he worked on the trains. In the kitchen, the train went to Vancouver, he said, when they went out of out for Chinese food or with the staff it was different stylish when I visited Hong Kong I couldn't find chicken and broccoli which I enjoy eating oh that's a that's funny that's funny Nice. Now, of course, we're going to turn into this very short, famous, and uh, vibrant, usually, street to our right. Oh, yeah, busy, always. Mabu Hong Kong Cafe since 2011. There's a line here. Must be, must be super good. Post office around here, somewhere here. I guess it's no more, if I'm not mistaken. This is the oldest tea parlor in the city of New York, Don Wa. Also, line that is in all the books and all the sorry, websites, so tourists mostly, but real good stuff. Oh no, post office is still here. My mistake. Chinatown Station, 10013, zip code. Or oh, New Yorkers say 113. John Roberts, hey. Two hundred people watching us already. Thank you so much. A few more likes would definitely do a better job uh, recommending our channel to a lot of people on YouTube. So your likes are very important. Thank you for your likes. Don't forget to hit the like button. course that's Doyers Street there was a Doyers Street street sign another side of the street but it's no more there I guess someone took a souvenir home you know we usually don't cross street and go that way but let's do that for a change this is Division Street Chinatown Manhattan Bridge, 
portion, a fragment of my head and braces in the background. And that way, a little bit of Brooklyn Bridge right there is on the background. Confucius, Confucius statue is there. When it comes to names like this, different people pronounce in different ways, but we understand. It's a big residential building. So we are on Division Street in Chinatown, New York City. How's everybody doing? I hope you're enjoying our walk. Not too stressful, not too dramatic, just enjoying our New York City atmosphere. While we're walking with not too much action. Question, on a scale one to 10, how would you rate our walk today? 10 is the best, one is the worst. Also, any critique, good or bad, is greatly appreciated. Going from one neighborhood to the other. This is Dim Sum Palace, but cannot say anything. It's kind of empty right now. Darlene, 15, thank you so much. John Roberts, 10, thank you. Ray, I would give it a 12. I love the knowledge you have in the city. Thank you, Ray Gibson, thank you so much. Flat, I like smart people. This stream seems to have many. No one saying anything about my name makes me think many people know the truth here. You know, in uh, Asian culture, number eight is best of luck, and also, you know, infin infinity. So that license plate at eight eight eight. That's a husband and wife talking to each other. Tyler, personally, I haven't explored or know much about Chinese food, but going to Dim Sum is always fun. It's too bad a lot of places are getting rid of their food cars and ordering from the table. Yes, I agree. I like, I like something like, they still have a few of those left in, uh, for example, in uh, Flushing in Queens, where you don't have to go inside of any establishments to get something, to grab some sort of a something like that's what I did when I went there last time. I ate too much because they look all look so good and you want to try them and try them and try them. And then you realize it's a little too much but it's too late. Hi the ABX girl. Jolene, interesting, I always loved the number eight, now I know why. 
you know what it is maybe maybe I'm wrong but uh, a lot of us are having some sort of connection to the past lives uh, like re they reincarnated and in the past lives they were definitely somewhere else in the world so unfortunately we may or may not take it seriously but sometimes one of these days you realize that wait a minute why why is it this way why is it that way so you never know maybe in one of your past lives you were associated with the asian culture with the you know chinese culture who knows Hi, SJCLA11. Let's cross the street. This is Market Street. We hear this heavy traffic above. This is Manhattan Bridge. The, you know, the entrance to the bridge and of course the, the subway traffic and car traffic vehicle traffic the apprentice popular neighborhood Steve Gonzalez good evening all happy Cinco de Mayo hi Steve thank you same for you This is Foresight, Foresight and Division. Chinatown, New York City. A lot of pigeons are, you know, up there, so careful walking. As I walk, I see I see things falling, so, you know, if it hits you, you know, something is for good luck, something is for something else, so. I was smelling seafood, I mean, raw seafood for a while. I was like, where is it coming from? Right here. They're pouring salt over it so it doesn't get spoiled. India and China are the oldest continuous cultures yet. Crabs, and they're still alive. Blue crabs. You put your finger in there, they will... You don't want to do that. So, it's a little market on the Manhattan Bridge. A little bit of here and there. This guy is selling something that might, maybe oils, maybe some something, but uh, he saw me looking at him and he took the sign off. I would not be able to read it anyways. A lot of, a lot of people are camera shy. I don't know if anyone can translate that, that would be cool. Just a few apples you can sell here and there and a pack of rice. Well, people, I guess people find themselves something to do sometimes because they, you know, a lot of them are retired and they have time on their hands. Some traditional Chinese herbs can help you. Rhino horn won't do nothing for you though, it's just keratin. Yes. Every time I walk I walk past those places they sell those herbs. They help people live two hundred years sometimes. We just don't know anything of it because it's a best kept secret. This is St. Barbara, Greek Orthodox Church, 
27 Forsyth Street. This is Canal Street and Forsyth. If you want to walk over Manhattan Bridge, then uh, you see the sign there showing you where you can do that. Technically, and then you will can start walking right there over to Brooklyn. Chinatown, New York City. So let's see what we explored today. Not done yet, but what we did so far. We explored a few neighborhoods. We started uh, around Wall Street and Financial District. Browsed back and forth around those crooked old streets and found the Mexican celebration. Not very loud yet, but music and everything around the uh, Stone Street. And from there, we walked to Wall Street, back and forth, and we are here in Chinatown right now. So, that's cool. Two hours and two minutes. Uh, free time today, why not use it wisely? The Space University as well, right here. Why not use it wisely and uh, have a good exercise, a good walk, and show you the city, especially Cinco de Mayo is today. Look, and, uh, look at this World Trade Center. Is what basically where we came from. This is the entrance to Manhattan Bridge. The apparently is Chinatown in the whole world. Sunset Park, Chinatown, more concentrated and people will move with purpose. Yes, yeah, because, um, I don't know, because partially because tourists come to, you know, to this Chinatown and they don't really travel to other major areas with Chinese population, except for maybe Flushing. John, I'm going to buy some pretty flowers and plant them for my sister at her house. This Tuesday we will be 57. It's a nice weather for Wyoming, I think. And she, I hope she has a good birthday. Praise. Popeyes. Charlene, happy early birthday to you both. John. Mine was March 23rd. Christian, thanks for the great tour. You're welcome. As always, thank you for watching. This is Canal Street. This must be Manayana Buddhist temple. I don't know if we can walk in there or not. It's very small space, but if you want to pray, you can pray. I know it's not a small space. big space there. It's just the entrance.
pick your fortune and donate one dollar. So we're going to donate one dollar and pick our fortune. Picked our fortune out of there. Beautiful. No, I've never been inside of this one before. Magnificent. It's a Buddha, you know, like in Catholic and in Catholic churches, they have stations of the cross. This is very similar in the same idea, I think. They come brought the whole bunch of tourists in right here. These are offerings to the dead. Oh, okay. Thank you.
Okay, how did you like that? Very different, right? Welcome everyone, we are in Chinatown, New York City. Some bus companies are here, of course, very inexpensive bus. This one is New York to Boston, for example. Daily departure, I don't know how much it is, but really inexpensive. Probably the least expensive way to get to Boston from New York is to take a bus here in Chinatown. Oh, it's sunny all of a sudden. So, let's see, we picked up the fortune. Oh, okay. This is not a fortune cookies, it's a fortune message. And uh, it's cle a very clever way to undercover police car. Very clever way also to let people know that they collect donations but not just donations but also give them a little message so this one that I picked it has a number on it it says number 22 right there probability of success good services are tops and commodities good no clandestine tricks hide under the hood your kind heart will not be misunderstood all know you stand as upright as you should that is the message as it shows on this fortune uh, thing, fortune little paper message right there. Okay, I'll take that. That's a good positive message. This is Canal Street and Boring Street. We're in Chinatown, New York City. It's sunny now and warm. Canal Street, Chinatown. Blue? Ray, I have not been, but this walk is awesome. It feels like being there. Thank you. Hi again and why? That Buddhist temple was awesome. I mean, very, very interesting and looks fantastic and just how Buddhist temple should be. It's entrance to the Manhattan Bridge. And to Bowery Street. Northbound, I think, yes. Bowie and Canal, so let's open Bowie a little bit. There's plenty of restaurants everywhere. Everywhere. Mm. 
and be wing one. Hey, Ori. Yes, those from the United Kingdom and those who are following the royal family, congratulations on tomorrow's uh, coronation. This is Bayard Street. Cinco de Mayo in New York City. We browse New York City from Financial District to Chinatown. Two hours and 16 minutes. Sunny afternoon in Chinatown, New York City, 4 10 p.m. local time. We are on Bayard Street. Perhaps this is uh, when we go into slowly end the stream, very slowly, but since I have some free time today, there is a possibility I will stream again a little bit. Who knows? Who knows? And any, in any way, if you subscribe with all notifications, you will be notified, of course. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe before you leave. Just about now, click the subscribe button and like button. Likes are awesome because they show your appreciation to what we do and uh, how much you like what you see and what you, what you watch. And subscriptions are for your convenience, so you will know when we are live or posting our videos again or anything else on our channel so you will be notified <laughs> gallery and musician is very talented yes yeah, a lot of talent in new york so for now we're going to wish you a fantastic afternoon if you're in uh, our area or a fantastic time of the day or night if you're somewhere else on the planet earth and if you're watching us from space who knows enjoy the view i guess uh, we will uh, see you sooner rather than later take a great care of yourselves and i'm gonna go ahead and get something for lunch see you soon bye bye Darlene, you're welcome. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.